Welcome everyone to the uh, Rook community meeting for July 26, 2022. Uh, let me share my screen and then we'll get going here. Let's see, why am I feeling challenged with starting the screen share? Let's see, share screen, there it is. Okay. Here we go. So I get started off with the milestone checkup. So the 1.8 uh, release branch, we're not planning on any more, uh, any more hot fixes there. I think, yeah, there's just no issues that need to be released. Um, certainly possible to release if we need to, but it's not planned currently. Um, any questions about 1.8 or anybody know of a need for fixes there? If not, moving on to the 1.9 project. Uh, so we're just over two weeks since the last release. Uh, so we'll plan on 1.9.8 today, uh, Tuesday the 26th. If I look at the project board here, um, we do have a few things that would still be nice to get into the 1.9 release, but I don't think any of them are blocking for today. And uh, we've got a number of fixes in the release from the last couple of weeks, so we'll go ahead today. Unless anyone else has something that they want to get in for now. Yeah, so I think we're good for today. The uh, uh, maybe just to comment on the NF NFS test. Yeah, it was disabled. Uh, it would be nice to get that uh, enabled again to sign to Rakshith. So yeah, I haven't seen any progress on that lately. And yeah, I, I, I thought Rakshith had some other, uh, some other things come up, uh, but I can, I can ping him and see if he's able to resume work on that. And if not, I can probably take it over as well. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember what what was the issue again that we had to disable it for. I just can't remember. Um, yeah, I I forget what it ended up boiling down to. Uh, the PR I have open uh, here that I think fixes it is just verifying deletion of pools before proceeding. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is the PR that ends up finding uh, what might have been an issue. I can post that in there. Well, I can put it in the meeting notes as well. Sounds good. Yeah. It always feels better when the tests are all enabled and working and not flaky, but there are also always flaky tests too. Sounds good. Uh, so these other things, I don't think we need to talk through those issues in the to-do column. I moved a couple out of the to-do column here into the 1.10 milestone. So we're, yeah, we're about that point where it's, we'll probably focus more on 1.10, but we can still, um, of course, backport to 1.9 as needed. Okay. Um, the 1.10 release then coming up. So uh, previously we hadn't set any dates around the release. Um, this morning I just put in some tentative dates. I'd, I guess I'd propose for the release. So usually a week before the final release, we have the beta release where we create the branch, make sure the CI is all working, run tests, upgrade and, and all of that. Um, so I'm going to propose August 11th and then a week later, the 18th to target the release. Uh, those are totally flexible in my mind, but any thoughts around that timeline um, or does that work for everybody? I'm assuming uh, that's I, fine. Yeah, I think that's good. I was looking to see when Kubernetes 1.25 was scheduled to be released. Mm -hmm. It looks like August 23rd, 2022. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if we want to 
uh, wait until like late August then to release or? I don't, I guess I don't think, we've never tied to Kubernetes releases before. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think when it releases, then we'll just add it 25 to the CI. And as long as everything's good, I think we'll be fine. Or if we find a fix, then we'll need to get a, a hot fix out. Yeah. Sounds um, good. Yeah. The annual Ceph release, I think, is the one that I'd target waiting for. And right. But since we're so aggressive about backporting things, too, it, it's nice not to need to tie things together. Okay, and then I guess to look briefly at the project board, uh, I need to create a column here for blocking issues for the release. Uh, we don't have that yet. There's a couple of bigger work items that would be nice to get into the release, like uh, this one Siobhan's working on for uh, running with the rook username instead of client.admin. I feel like we're getting closer on that one. Uh, so it's making good progress. Um, and then other things, you know, we've got docs, we've got some RGW things coming in, but, but I'm not sure any of them need to wait on the, or would block the release. So if you feel like anything should block for the, should block the dot zero release, let's definitely discuss that. Um, but yeah, I think we're okay there. Any comments on 1.10? All right, so on to the community topics and questions today, a few things to mention. Last week we talked about telemetry uh, that, that had been enabled in Rook that requires uh, like 1.9.6 of Rook and Ceph 17.2.1, as I recall. And we decided to go ahead and document that in the quick start guide, so just to uh, just for posterity's sake, here's this new section in the quick start guide on telemetry. Really, all, all you have to do is go to the toolbox and say Ceph telemetry on, and, and then you'll get the, the reporting so we can um, have more insight into what's happening upstream. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know that we need to add a Ceph cluster CR setting like that, or for that that we talked about before. So we'll just see how far this gets us. Um, any other comments on telemetry? Nope. All right, moving on then. Just want to make sure that the community is aware that 17.2.2 release of Ceph that came out last week, the manager consistently crashes in Rook deployments. So we're recommending not to upgrade to 17.2.2. And just if, if you're on, um, if you're on, Quincy releases v17. I just stay on that 2.1 until we can get that fix in a separate release. So more details in that issue link there. Okay. And the last item here, uh, just pointing out if anybody's interested in the history of Rook or some more general background, I did an interview today with KBE Insider. Um, and there's a link to that interview. Um, I can't stand watching myself, so I won't ever watch it again, but <laughs> if anybody else is interested. And all right, quick agenda today. Does anybody else have something to add to the, the agenda? All right, with that, I guess we'll call it good. Thanks everyone. And I will stop sharing and stop the recording. Have a good All day. Right. Bye. Yeah, bye, thanks.